Remember, inflation can actually be beneficial to some people. As you recall, inflation is when prices rise or where the purchasing power of currency decreases. And while we tend to view inflation as solely a negative occurrence, there are several groups of people in the economy that may actually benefit from inflation. Naturally, not everyone does, but let's first look at those who may benefit from inflation. One such possibility are business owners. They could benefit if the price of their good or service, technically the prices that they're charging for that good or service, rise faster than their resource prices, meaning the prices that they're paying for their raw materials. If that happens, then they'll temporarily have an increase in profit. A second group that may benefit from inflation are people who are in debt or people who borrow money. And that's because the amount that they're paying back has less purchasing power than the money they borrowed. Say you took out a loan for $100. If there's then inflation, now you're still paying back $100 plus interest, but that $100 is worth less in terms of purchasing power. So the amount of money, again, in terms of purchasing power that you're paying back, it's less. There are several groups, of course, that are hurt by inflation. One of those groups would be creditors, or people who lend out money. As we just mentioned, money borrowers benefit from inflation. So it stands to reason that the institutions they pay it back to would suffer. The money that those banks, let's say, are getting back is not worth as much as it was when they loaned it out. A second group that's hurt by inflation are people who save money. If you save money, let's say you just put it in a jar or you put it underneath your mattress, for example, if you don't spend it, then as the prices rise, that money loses worth in terms of purchasing power. This is one reason why it's really important to put savings in some sort of savings account so that if inflation does become an issue, then hopefully the interest that you earn from the savings account will make up for that inflation. A third group that's hurt by inflation are people on fixed incomes. These would be groups like the elderly or retired people living off of a benefit plan. When their income does not rise by the same amount as inflation, then they lose money in terms of purchasing power. Now, note that all of these different benefits and costs of inflation are much higher, much greater as far as the loss goes when inflation is unanticipated or much higher than expected. If people expect inflation to come, then institutions may adjust interest rates or people may be able to negotiate changes in their salary to make sure that inflation does not have as big of an impact on the economy. 